Good day, everybody. It's Max, and welcome back to If for Space the Cube. That's right. And in today's episode, we're going to have a look at another cube, and we're going to do a little bit of balance testing. Uh, we're going to take a cube, uh, do a little bit of a balance test, fix up our power problem, and uh, after the balance test, I'm going to try to push the other cubes we have a little bit harder. So let's get to it. Well, good day, everybody. And if you ever wanted to see your city from an inverted angle, uh, this is it. <laughs> that's 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 what it is. Uh, so I've hit a button somewhere. Uh, yep. Uh, <laughs> I've, well, okay. So what I went to do was, of course, I went to start the episode in uh, in photo mode. Uh, so I had photo mode all set to go uh, but then I used my keystroke command to start the recording software and this is what I got I mean it's pretty cool uh, in a way I guess uh, I believe I am underground totally upside down but I can't guarantee that for sure I did try to move around a bit uh, to have a look but I mean I thought we'd I thought we at least stay like this for a second. I mean, I mean, this does look pretty cool, right? Uh, no, I've lost it. Oh, I've lost it again. Oh, there it comes. It's coming back. It's coming back. I mean, it's very, it's very shaky. It's very shaky, and you can't do a lot with it at the moment. Uh, but um, we have a couple things to do today before we can do any more cubes. As I try to get you a better angle. On, on on this <laughs> uh, kind of quirky moment. There we go. We'll stop there. Uh, of course, power is the first problem. Uh, the first problem is power. We got to fix it. Um, we're, we're getting close to the edge. And, of course, uh, you know, that's a thing. Uh, we can't really be slamming in more cubes without power. So that's going to happen. Number two, uh, we have to clean up uh, our... Uh, rocket slash drill build. Uh, it's uh, now gotten to the point where it is now getting in the way of doing our final, uh, well, it will be where the final cubes all go, uh, but obviously we are not done with final cubes just yet. Uh, but that has to be cleaned up. Uh, that has to be all taken out, put aside, do the things with, and of course, um, you know, so as we can get ready to put in more of these wonderful inverted cubes that I've got here. I mean, I must admit, this is, the, this is a very interesting look, isn't it? Uh, so with that, let me bring you back. Uh, and when I bring you back, the first thing we're going to have a look at is uh, some power. And uh, we'll see what we look like with that. So I was really hoping to get a little more power out of this field, but I guess that's not going to happen. Uh, we are we <laughs> we're, we're we're at a very fine balance where we're just getting a little bit of ahead of it. But if I put one more factory in, it can't keep up, right? So it, we have 11 power uh, 11 power factories down, uh, which is now giving us the 40,000, and it's it's not. Is great as I would like to have it, uh, but I, but it is what it is uh, now. We do have a couple of smaller fields, obviously, we can uh, borrow from. We have one over here at the robotics factory I can always try to tap into if, uh, if necessary. And, of course, we always have, the, we have this small one up here. Um, at the same time, uh, like there is this small one right here that I could tap into maybe get an extra power plant one or two running here uh, if I need it. Because, I mean, space is premium space is premium and we need all the space for all the power of the things and that includes getting rid of a bunch of these solar panels that we threw up here temporarily when we were first making uh the repairs on the on the uh, spaceship uh so i mean this all has to go right this i mean yeah it, it's got to go uh so hopefully we'll see how it goes um you know it's gonna it's gonna be a little uh gonna be a little iffy here for a bit <laughs> Uh, we don't really have um, a lot more to go, though. I mean, yes, I do have a little bit of extra uranium around that I am using for the drill. So maybe uh, when I blow this all up, I use that little extra uranium to get another power plant, maybe two to run, uh, and uh, take it from there, I guess. Uh, it's about the best I got. Meanwhile, we are now up here to dismantle this. And, yep, this is a thing, right? Um... 
and it and it really is a shame. I mean, there's a lot of resources here. So <laughs> what I'd like to do is I am going to spend uberance amount of time trying to take some of this stuff and actually make it into factories, right? So I mean, we are literally looking at uh, two full rows of home appliance slash computer factories. Uh, you know, I should be able to start building that in the back there and take these, take all these factories that are full of chips, full of stuff and uh, make things happen. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to just hit the old delete key. I'm actually going to do the much more painful thing here and try to <laughs> put some of this together. And I'm probably going to hate myself for it, but that's all right. Uh, it's all, it's all for that entertainment people. It's all for the entertainment. Okay. Let me get busy with this. I'm going to see you in a sec. So after an uncomfortable amount of time and a lot of movement around, uh, let's go have a look and see what we've got. Look at that. All cleaned up. Wow. And if you look this way, it moves a lot faster. <laughs> you know, the game likes it when you look at things that aren't there. Uh, it's awesome. Now, I painfully, and I mean very painfully, um, took factories, as many as I could. And you'll notice that a lot of these factories are, are very full. They're very happy. Uh, it wasn't until I was getting down to these very end ones where I just plain ran out of factories and, you know, I had to put new ones in. Uh, but uh, these have lots of, lots of material. Yeah, these have all kinds of material. We're, we're good to go. <laughs> we're good to go, people. And uh, at the same time, we cleaned up the huge rocket build that was out here in the, in the midst. And, of course, uh, I've even added back in the squares for this row. Now, before I get all excited about doing this row, um, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to do a cube test again. So back on, row, back on cube one, Okay, we did a cube test and we took the requirements of all the things and we tested it for kind of pushing to the limit, right? This time we're going to do a cube test again. And uh, the reason we're doing that for this episode is because I want to push the cube really hard with my newer builds of the factories. The reason is, is that... Well, okay, we're at 54,000 and change. Um, let's say each cube holds 2,600, right? Or, you know, 26 and change. So you're looking at, uh, you know, 52, um, 10,000. Say, say, say these four is 11,000, okay? We might get four more here for... Well, we'll definitely get three. We'll get three... Uh, maybe three and a half for another nine. So let's say we get another 20,000 here. So that's 74,900 or, or just, let's say 75,000. Okay. But I'm going to want to push it even harder. Okay. Which means we're going to go back through these cubes and I'm going to want to try and add just a little bit more to each one to see if we can't take it even higher past 75,000. And when I do, I need to know what the breaking point is. Like, I want to break it. <laughs> I want to break a cube pretty hard, right? I need to know what factory is going to fail first. Is it going to be the home robot slash computer factory? Is it going to be the robot factory? Or is it going to be, um, you know, the VR education factory? Or is it going to be the food factories, right? I mean, that they're actually part of the cubes, right? Is it going to be these guys that break first? Um, I, I need to know. And that's because, is uh, obviously, we'll want to know how much extra we can add to a cube. And uh, if, you know, the first thing that breaks, like let's say food was the first thing that broke. And, and the big problem with food was, uh, you know, was that it couldn't get enough uh, vegetable. Okay, couldn't get enough vegetable. Well, can we easily fix that issue in all of these cubes to push it for another 5,000, right? Uh, and, and that's the thing we want to look at. So uh, I'm going to keep doing some builds, okay? Because uh, that's the thing I do, right? I'm actually going to build, I'm going to build out all the VR up here. Uh, I'm going to actually keep working on some more uh, computer slash home appliance factories down here. 
And uh, we actually have, uh, again, we do have enough uh, factories for all of this row, actually. Uh, but that, but you know, I'll, I'm also going to build some more uh, robots, right? Um, we have five factories here. Uh, but obviously, I would like to try and get a few more robot factories in. And, of course, then we can take assessment. Like, you know, we have a little bit of space up here. Is this going to be a good thing for pushing these a little harder? If I need a few extra factories, how do I get that stuff moved around? Should be very interesting. Should be very interesting indeed. So, with that, I'm going to bring you back once I've done some building. And we're going to take that building and the stuff and the things. And we're going to... We're going to push a cube. I'm going to push this cube right here. We're going to hook it up with just a factory, one of the, one of each of the factories, put in the food, and we're going to we're going to we're going to try and break it uh, and see what breaks first. So we've just hit the play button and uh, <laughs> it, everything's going to be really slow here, people. Um, in fact, it's it's currently frozen. Oh no, there it no there it's back again. <laughs> so um, everything is going to be slow going. Uh, of course, uh, we uh, I have taken the first corner of this cube. Uh, we have a landing pad, of course, for it. Uh, we have vehicles, hopefully, arriving here at some point in time. <laughs> Once these upgrade, uh, wow! In fact, I should go really check them home uh, home robots. In fact, I'm pretty sure I have one factory hooked in. Uh, yes, I have one factory hooked in uh, for this. Uh, this robotics factory right here is hooked in. I, I have plenty of factories. I have these factories over here. I have these three factories over here. Uh, and I just realized, man, I really didn't leave myself any room. I, I, I keep putting in, uh, I, I've been upgrading uh, power facilities, but we'll have a look at that. And we'll have a look at those here in a little bit. Uh, but yes, I do have I do have one robotics factory plugged in. I, I already know I have, a v, I have the VR and the combination um home appliances slash computer factories also in uh so in this case uh let's hit that play button again yep yeah, keep going guys <laughs> keep going uh everything is good uh so this is going to take a little time uh and of course i'm going to bring you back this is a standard cube all right uh standard cube layout uh and this standard cube layout right with uh the the oxygen the piping and everything else uh will we will bring this up uh, and I've already wrote down, it was 54, 9, uh, 9, 20, 9, 70. And of course, what we'll do is we'll upgrade this cube. Uh, we'll push this cube all the way up on a standard build. And then we're going to then push that even harder to see what happens. So just hold on a sec. We're going to flip some screeny stuff here and we'll have a look. So with a fully upgraded cube, uh, it actually comes out to be 26, what is it, 2600? I think it was 2632. Uh, so <laughs> uh, do I still have the calculator open? Yes, I do. Oh, it's 22,628 is is the is what the cube holds now uh what we want to do now is we want to try and push this just a little bit harder right uh i i've gone around and looked at all the factories at the moment and i think it's going to be in vr where it fails um so we actually look decent on robots i checked home appliances and computers there's plenty of them but vr is it's not struggling with the cube as it is, but it's very, very slow to make any headway. So it, it, the, the uh, VR factory will eventually uh, back up, but it is not backing up at a very fast rate. Uh, in fact, uh, I would suspect like, uh, let's see, if I pause this, we should be able to zip on over and have a look at it. Do, 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 do. So here is the VR factory that is actually supplying uh, this, this cube. And as you can see here, there is still no backlog. All right, it, everything it's making, it's pumping out, right? Uh, as soon as the five are made, it's sending the cars out, right? It's on, it's on its way to a, it's on its way to a cube over there somewhere. Uh, so you can notice here the now this is an active cube. Uh, so let's let's go have a look at an active cube here for a second. So these are active cubes. You can see they they are they do have some backup in them, but it's but they're but they're they're running almost full all the time 
So I'm going to try and put uh, one row of housing on the outside edge of this cube. And I think it, I don't know if it's going to be able to do them all. And the other thing, of course, is food. It is very, very close on food, right? Uh, I think, I think if I'm going to get any in here, uh, we might, I might be able to get a couple of extra buildings in the corners. Uh, instead of me trying to put in, uh, what would that be? Two, three is five, seven, ten. So instead of trying to put in 15, I don't know, maybe I can get an extra five in. Um, like if I were to like put in, uh, say, four here, I could try that and see what happens. So I was going to try and put in a row of 15. I just don't think we've got the extra food and the extra oomph to do it. <laughs> um, you know, so that's, it, it, I mean, th these were designed to be very close to being efficient. And yes, the uh, home robots and, and um, uh, the home appliances and computer factories do tend to run, were running over extra, but as of course we got into the higher tier stuff like VR education, uh, that stuff was going to be fairly close because we were building them factories so close to what we needed. So with that, I'm going to try to put in a few extras on this cube, wrap this one up for this episode, and uh, and then of course we'll talk about next episode and actually uh, getting more cubes in after we see what we can do with this one. Okay, so 23 cubes and the population is now 60,422, you betcha. Uh, so let's talk about the extra buildings I did get to put in. So I pushed this cube pretty hard to the limit and eight was basically the uh, magic number where I was able to get about eight extra housing in for this cube before it started to fall apart. And uh, so that is where uh, I then took uh, that information and I have now updated all 22 other cubes you betcha and so uh, you name it uh, we put extra buildings in now the mini cubes I think I only squeezed in like an extra three or four piece uh, but the other main cubes have all gotten between six and eight extra buildings uh, it all depended on the cube and if like like so we had two cubes of course that are kind of wonky with their oxygen they got a few less housing uh, but it, overall we got a bunch of extra housing in in fact uh, we got so much housing in uh, that we have actually put in an additional two cubes worth the housing. So uh, if we were actually putting in cubes, cubes, all the cubes today, we've actually would have done all three of the cubes that you see in front of you. Uh, but that's good because we now push this even harder. And uh, of course, we now have uh, 60,000 plus people in just by putting in one more cube and doing that extra test. Uh, so, uh, as you can also see, I have numbered the cubes. I thought this was actually really cool. Uh, so now we can actually go through. Uh, we can see the cubes and their numbering. Uh, of course, you know, cube one, two, three, four, and then, you know, five to 10, uh, you know, uh, and, and I thought that was really cool. Now, obviously, uh, we're a little out of sorts with our very latest cube. Uh, it is not number 23 in the, in the whole line of things. This will probably become cube 25, which is why it does not have a number in the front of it just yet. And uh, we'll wait until we do these other three cubes. So what are we doing next, extra soap? Three cubes, you betcha. <laughs> so we're going to do these, This finish up this row of cubes. Um, and just to show you, uh, I have been very, very busy. Very busy. Uh, I have now added, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, uh, eight eight additional uh, VR education centers. Uh, what do we got here? Two, four, six. Uh, we got six of the... Uh, computer home appliances and I think I've only built two extra of those uh, home robots but we'll be built I'll be building more of those I'm just you know there's only so much time in a week right <laughs> there's only so much time in a week and uh, so we'll be uh, coming back next episode 
three more cubes. Uh, that's going to push us, well, I mean, it all depends. Uh, might I, I don't know if we'll get to 70,000 with that row, but I think we'll get close to the high-end 60s, right? Like, I would expect, uh, let's say, three, six, possibly eight and a half. Uh, so we'll get about, uh, you know, we'll get to the 67, 6,800, or 68,000 mark. And then, of course, after that, we'll be on to the next row. I'm Max. This, of course, has been Infraspace Cube, where we are, we're, <laughs> we have so much cubage. We, we are in the cube zone. We are cubed all over the place. And I will see you on the next one. Take care.